everyone, Doug Farrick here from the Art Marketing Association. Today I wanted to show you how to actually embed videos in an email, much like this. You'll often see this like this where you'll see an image within an email and then they'll have like a player button right here and you'll click it and you'll actually go off to a uh, go off to a video but the secret is here is you're not really embedding in uh, in a video in an email you're just really pointing to it so there's a couple different parts to this first you need this is really an image so you need to create the image first and the second part is you'll have to point to the video. Now that video could be really on YouTube, it could be on Vimeo, it could be on your blog site. You'd have to point to where that site is and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the first thing we want to do is have a, uh, a file like this so we can, or a template so we could go ahead and change that. So what I did was I actually created a template for you and you can see it right here. And it's built in Photoshop. You can open this in any program that supports layers like GIMP or Photoshop Elements. And you can just see, if you're not real familiar, it's really kind of pretty easy. You'll see this like video of the week corresponds to this up here so you can shut them on and off. You can actually go in there, click on it and edit it, that sort of thing. You can take out this background image, put your own background image. And once you're done with it, you would just go ahead and save it for the web as like a JPEG uh, or something like that or as a TIFF. Usually, typically you'd save it as a JPEG pick and size it to the uh, size it to how big you want it to fit within your email so that's that part and I'll actually upload that that template into our download library so you'll have that to use it and the final part is when you're when you're actually putting this into your uh, email into your HTML email you'll need some code to do that so it's really pretty simple and a couple weeks ago I did a tutorial on photo bucket where uh, if you don't typically upload or FTP your images to a certain location you can upload it to there they'll give you an image um, uh, like an image source right here to where your image is located so that's just where it is it's just sort of a reference of where it is and it's typically it'll have a longer uh, like image source, a longer URL than this where it's kind of hosted. So you'll have this. This is where your image is located. And then what you'll have to do to make it clickable is just wrap a um, an href around it. So that's right here. Once you have that image and you're pointing to the one either at photo bucket or some other place, you're going to put this a href which will point to where your video is located say it's located at YouTube that would be the YouTube address that you would put right in here so you take that this code right here a href and wrap it right around your image right here so if you can see when I hover over it it'll turn to the um, uh, to the hand image which means it's a clickable link you'll click that and actually go off to the video on YouTube so or wherever it's hosted so that's a pretty neat thing to have so it's uh, let me see here again so it's like this again you'll have this in, this will be an actual image that you will take from this one right here and you'll customize it to the size you want you'll click on it you will upload your image somewhere so you can reference it which is right here the IMG source and then wrap it in this a href which points to where the video is located so it's a pretty neat thing to do it's um it's something that a lot of people are doing and it adds that sort of extra cachet to your uh to your email so anyways that's it for this week and we'll talk to you soon